Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the M172. In this part of the module, we're going to see the commissioning tab inside the software. So, so far we have seen the configuration and the programming tab. The display part, we're going to see it later in this course, but now we're going to involve in the commissioning. When we were programming in the programming tab, we we can use this icon. This icon means download code, but it only download the code. It doesn't download the configuration of the BIOS, the EEPRON, or the hardware configuration. So it's a common mistake that when we are programming the controller, we only download the code, and when we want to connect the PLC to another equipment, we are not able to do that because we haven't downloaded the complete configuration. So when we just press this icon, download the code, it just the code, in order to get communication to another devices and make the default values of the EPRON, we should perform this action, download all. So we can download the code and the configuration of the equipment. When we are in the BIOS, we have checked that we have all the system configuration. For example, in this case, I'm going to see the configuration of the analog inputs set as PT1000. And if we go to the commissioning tab, we can get access to this information of the BIOS parameter in a different way in folders. As you can see here, the BIOS parameter, when, I, when I'm in the configuration, it just, um, I'm able to see the complete list. But in the commissioning tab, we need to get access to the specific path. So in this case, I go for all parameters, analog IOS, lower bore, okay, and I can see the configuration. But this configuration in the BIOS parameter, it's only modified this, the default value that we can have, but not this value, because this value is the actual value that the PLC has. But there is some another thing that we need to see here. We see here that we have different colors. And we're going to see that later. This is only for the BIOS parameter part, but if we have, for example, EEPROM parameters, the only way to get access to this information so far is by selecting all parameters and then check the variables. We can use filters to get access to this information and then make the modification in our software. We're going to see this later, okay, in this part of the training. But I told you before that we have different colors. So, for example, if we have the color red, in the value, it means that the, that the software doesn't know the actual value in the controller. So we need to read information in the controller and then we are able to see if it's information, the last information that we see in the controller. And also you can see here that we have um, a blue color. It means that the default value of the PO parameter has been changed to a new one. And the gray one are for those variables that we are only allowed to read information and not to write information on it. So in order to be 100% sure that information, the last information, the actual information that the controller has must be in black in the part of the value. So I told you before, let's just go back a little bit. If we want to read, for example, the EEPROM parameter or status variables in a quick way, we can use the filters in the commissioning or we can create menus in the configuration so we can see that in the commissioning. So one other recommendation is to group the variables inside menus so we can easily get access to that information when we are in the commissioning. 
and this is example if we are already connected to the controller we can read or write information so we have a new value in it in this example that we see here we have the red one it means that the software doesn't know the actual value so when we read information we are able to see there is seen in black okay it means this is the last the the last value of the controller okay and it's the same as the default in this case when we write a new variable here we can see that is the last value is the actual value in the controller and it's different for the default okay so let me just show you in the software how it is done now we are going to open our project so training plc and let's just open the project for this plc i'm going to activate the simulation so this button simulation mode i'm going to connect to the virtual plc that i have created in the last session so in this case i have i'm connected to the controller but i have a different application so we have two possibilities here i perform a download or a download all in this case i'm just gonna download the plc code good perfect so Let's go to the commissioning and show you the controller, the PS parameter, all parameters. In this case, I'm going to see the lower band, which is related to the analog input one and two. Okay, we can see there everything in red because this is not the last value in the controller. I'm going to read the information. And now everything is in black is good let's go to the upper board okay so in this case I'm gonna read information again okay good as you can see here there are some misinformation we can see the information that we have is different here different values okay it's different for the default so if I want to modify this information I just Click in here and to see. It. And then you can see here there is in red, this is a new value. And then just write. Good. So this is for the bias parameter. And now if we already have some um, variables from EPRON that we want to change, for example, if we go to the programming, let's open our project. Mm -hmm. light debug so if you want to change these EEPROM variables for a new value we are not able because this is this is for EEPROM so we need to go to the commissioning and search for those variables so parameters RCV there we go okay we can see this value so I'm going to change this and write yep it's the new value yep we see the new value that has been taken into account here so this is the way to make some modification for the configuration in our controller but there is also another way to do this instead of searching here we can create menus in the configuration so menus add menu configuration hmm, underscore control 
and we need to add those variables. So in this case, I'm going to add set point, add hysteresis. Compile the project. And then, oops, this is not the action that I want to do. Okay, so let's open this again. Sorry for that. So I have created this. Compile. Compile again. Programming. I'm going to activate this. to connect to the controller. It's different because I have made some modifications. I'm going to download again. Commissioning. And you can see here in the commissioning tab that we have this folder. So we can get access easily to the information that we want to modify. But there is also another things that we can do here in the commissioning tab. For example, change the way that we want to communicate, that we want to see this later. We can see the firmware version if we are connected to the real PLC the model and also where the information is going to be stored and some useful operation for example the firmware open a file browser like FTP download the application on the website make a preview and then we have the possibility to create the application to be downloaded via USB okay so this is the part for the commissioning tab and if you have any further question, you can contact us directly to this email or you can call the technical support team.